G'day, here's a few pieces of uh, lower grade bold rope or from set central Queensland, rules in millimetres, materials wetted to help bring out the colours. That's 150, 150 millimetres across there. So some larger pieces. Okay, most of this material, I don't know what field it came from, but um, lends itself just to be sliced up the way it is, perhaps. This material anyway. Just have this nice pattern material. How far that seam go? The seams go back, I don't know. There's no indication there. Oh, it's a piece of potch there in the face. A couple more faces of potch there. It goes in under the stone as well. Some of this is just to be treated as practice material. Again, seam going in there. And that's the thing you should learn to do, is like slice it off one side and grind down so you can see where it goes. Maybe grind this around here, see if it goes that far. There's not much on that side. This piece is a bit better material. It's a piece of choroid material quite often sought after for its patterns and colours. I don't think that would go in much further. But you could cut it into two stones there. As you can see, there is no indication of it going any further. So. Light, because it's cut you saw the light tends to reflect off the water rather than on the surface like that. It doesn't reflect anywhere near as much and there's another bit of colour showing there. So be careful when you're grinding that down. You may find another stone on the top. Again, line of colour or potch. Grind the top down, see what you've got. Looks like another piece of croit. A little bit more grain, if you call it that. Watch and colour there. Just a um, So this is from Koroit too, looking at the stone, it's very hard, gives you a good polish. There's a good practice stone there. This last piece, don't know what you'll get out of that. Seam running through there, but it's material's a bit softer. But whether it ends up being any good or not, I can't guarantee that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Cheers.